Hey y'all, welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about a medicinal plant. I showed you a little around some of my medicinal plants that are growing stuff that I have transplanted in the last two years building this medicinal garden. Um, and this is one that I really like. Now this is not something that you're gonna use on a regular basis. This is Spigelia marylandica, known as pink root. This was used by the Native Americans for worms. If you had a kid that got worms, they would give this mainly the root. The root is the more powerful properties of it. However, with this plant, be very careful. This plant is considered a narcotic. Uh, a lot of the old books, when you go back to the older books, the doctors that used this in England and, and Europe, even into the early Americas, they would report that dilated pupils, uh, some convulsions. One doctor noted that he had lost two kids due to heavy dosage. So you can overdose on this plant. Uh, it, it'll, it's a stimulant, it'll speed you up. And one place I read said possible hallucinogen. So be careful with this plant, but it is known as, as a worm remedy. If you, you know, if you get worms, this would be what you would take. Take the plant. It said it is soluble in water or alcohol. Um, so you would make a decoction out of the roots of this plant. It's got a yellow stringy fibrous root. But the thing about it, I like it. It, it is a beautiful plant. I mean, these are the coolest looking little flowers. And uh, I've got some honeysuckle that is trying to come in and take over. I have let this medicinal garden just kind of grow up as it wants to and with plans of coming in and just kind of pulling out the stuff that I don't want throw it into my compost basket and let it compost down so I haven't really tried to regulate anything here you can see behind me there's a lot of wild lettuce growing um right over here is elderberries and looks like we may have to get Roscoe and dose him with some of this right quick I don't know he's over here yakking on something but I've got um several different plants coming up this is a cut leaf coneflower coming up a lot of wild lettuce a lot of golden rod uh back here i've got some giant ironweed several things that i have brought in here to come up i don't see any of my lobelia my cardinal flower the red i was looking for it and i'm not really hadn't spotted it yet my mullen didn't come back so Still a struggle with a medicinal garden, but I did want to talk to you about this one plant. And you see here, the elderberries have started blooming. I'm going to have more elderberries right here that I need. So I don't have to go off back down to hunt them in the woods anymore. Got all my garden tilled up. I left the gully down it, let the water have somewhere to run. Garden's in good shape. Hey, thank y'all for watching. Spirit of the Outdoors. I really appreciate it. Share these videos if you think they're helping you. Uh, if you think they can help somebody else, you know. We're going to do some more medicinal plants. Um, I wanted to do this short video because I didn't want to take a lot of time. Uh, that's a simple plant. It don't have a lot of uses. We're going to cover some more of these plants. We're going to go back over um, wild lettuce here pretty soon. Talk about dosage in it. I'm getting a lot of questions on how much do I take. The best way to use it, uh, go look at Mike Reed's channel, The Bland County Survival Man. He went over it here recently. Uh, he's a wealth of knowledge on medicinal plants. Check him out. But we are fixing to dive back into some medicinal plants as they're coming about, flowering and such as that. Uh, for me, I think that when they're flowering is the time to be trying to use them. And we've had some that's done flowered, but we'll cover them a little here, there, and yonder. Thank y'all for watching. Remember, the best way to do things is the way you like to do it. We'll see y'all. Y'all have a good one.